I had recently come to the incredible town of Cihuatanejo in the southwest part of Mexico. In this video I'm gonna show you every single part of town and take you on an adventure across the mountains on both sides of the main town area. The whole town is situated in between the mountains and has cover from every single side. I had seen many cool towns in the west part of Mexico since I had been traveling up the coast, but my first impressions of this town were really really cool. Hello everybody and welcome to the town of Cihuatanejo here in the state of Guerrero in the southwest part of Mexico. Today I'm gonna get the scooter, hopefully if I can find one, drive around in the town and show you as much as possible. I was starting out my trip in the downtown area of this town that has a population of 100,000 people. It's a resort city mostly known for its unique streets and incredible beaches. So here we have the first beach. Welcome everybody to Playa Principal. It's located here in between the mountains. We have mountains on both sides sticking out to the right and to the left. So I'm gonna try to take the scooter if I find one and go up to both sides and see what it looks like there. Before I would start my trip across the mountains, I wanted you to see the main beach in the town and also the hundreds of boats that are lined up on the beach and also the really incredible views. I've been walking for a bit here on the beach, but it's time to find the scooter and start exploring the town more. So here we have a little coastal walk that I'm taking over to the other part of town here. Very nice. I walked over to the next beach here, Playa La Madera, which is also one of the two main beaches here along this walkway that you can go from uh, one side of the town to the other side. So I got a rental bike for uh, 250 pesos, like 12 US dollars. I'm gonna head up to the mountains. So we have a long ways to go actually today up the mountain. The sun is shining really, really bright outside. Not a single cloud. As always, really, really perfect. I'm already almost up here to the other side. It's also another really famous beach here that we're gonna check out. That's in between this side and uh, the other side of the mountain. Weehoo! Now we're going down again. Here's a viewpoint actually. We're gonna stop and look at the landscape from here. I was getting a bit further out of town and in to the most famous beach, Playa La Ropa. The beach is about half a mile long, which is around 800 meters. So I stopped here at Playa La Ropa, also a really famous beach. Uh, it looks, the sand is a bit nicer here actually and uh, people are doing some water sports over here. But I'm gonna keep going. People were doing lots of different water sports here and there was a really relaxed vibe to this beach. I took my bike and kept going. Here it would start to get much much steeper since I was on my way up into the mountain. I'm a bit out of the downtown area now, it's starting to get more green here up in the mountains. Really nice nature actually. And you hear some birds singing. 
So I've been going up for a while now and uh, here's a really nice view of the beach. From here I could see Playa La Ropa and also the downtown area where I had first started. Hello! So I just made it to the top here. Here we have a, such an incredible view, I can't believe it. You can see all the mountains, sailboats and the three beaches that I just came from. So let's see what it looks like from above. There was a really nice beach in this area that I wanted to go down to, but all the entrance points were closed, which explains why there were so many boats coming from the other side and into this beach. On my way I had also seen some really cool resorts up in the mountains. The whole town is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and all the incredible green mountains. If you want to stay up in the mountains then you need to be prepared to pay a lot of money. I think I'm on top and I passed by some uh really nice resorts here up in the hills really cool hello so here is just one of many viewpoints here in the town of Sihuatanejo so cool there I've been just uh, biking up and down all these uh, streets that you saw in the drone shots and uh, yeah we have really incredible views everywhere but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately I have to go back down the same way because uh, the road ends here. There's some big resort, so we can't go there, so we have to go back. But now I'm gonna bike all the way back and up in the mountains on the other side. Now come along with me, my friends. Let's go. Hello. almost back but now we're gonna start going up the other side of the mount <laughs> I'm going through the town area again uh, really peaceful here actually lots of small little shops on the streets I had come back to the downtown area and I was on my way over to the west part of town. Here there was a little lagoon with some boats and also really incredible landscapes. Cruise ships from around the world used to come in to see Otanejo, but in the recent years not nearly as many cruise ships have been coming. Here is a little passage uh, to get over to the other side uh, to pass this little bridge here. But let's keep going, my friends. I stopped with my bike uh, on my way over across the mountain here and uh, just to take a little bit of a break and enjoy this really nice place here by the boat harbor on the other side. And then we're gonna continue on the bike up to the other side. Well, I actually got kicked out of here, so we have to take the bike and go again. So I've been trying to get to a lot of different viewpoints up here in the mountains, but uh, a lot of them are blocked off and it says private property. Seems like there are a lot of private areas here, especially up in the mountains. It opens up here, so we have a really, really nice view. It was a dead end over there too. So well, now I'm going through another part of town to see if this way works to get up in the mountains. <laughs> it's a really good workout here actually. Up and down. I've been cycling probably nine miles maybe. 
like 40 kilometers or something. All the roads are closed here. I just don't understand why. Like every single road I've tried is closed. Now I was cycling far out to the west part of town and I got into some really cool roads right on top of the mountains and in the background you can see where I had first been to. I came out to a really cool beach here actually out of the town area. Well, 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 it was a long road to get here. But you know what they say, difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. Now we're here at this incredible beach and this incredible landscape. I had come here all the way from the downtown area to a really secluded beach with no people and just really dramatic mountains going out into the ocean. The west coast of Mexico truly has some extraordinary landscapes. I had seen these types of landscapes throughout my travels up along the west coast of the country. We saw everything, so we're gonna head back over across the mountains and into the town again. I'm gonna also show you some more of the town at night time because it's really cool. Lots of people and a lot of restaurants um, on every single street. Let's see if we can get up these steep hills again and back into town. <laughs> I was going downhill for so long, so this is probably gonna be really, really tough. So I actually stopped here along the road because I saw a guy that came with a fishing pole from the forest. <laughs> so I got too curious to just keep going. You know what they say, blessed are the curious people because they will have adventures. <laughs> I walked for like 10 minutes and uh, it looks like it opens up here. And uh, I think for sure nobody will be here. Really high up in the cliffs fear of missing out we have to see everything <laughs> wow, wow, wee, wow look at this here totally empty here really cool actually it's like nobody has been here look well i've seen it now i'm so hungry so i need to go time to go back Oof. There are four different roads I can take. I don't know actually exactly which one I came on. I think it's the same in life, kind of. Like, uh, so many different random situations can bring us into different situations in life. But we never know which road is gonna be a good road to take. We just have to try every single road. Sooner or later, one of the roads are gonna lead to a really good destination. So I'm gonna try this one. But a lot of times in life we also have to realize when we're on the wrong road. We know that road is not making us happy. So we should turn around and try another road. But I think a lot of people are afraid. They know that they are on the wrong road in life. But they're afraid to 
try something different. They keep walking down the same road for 20 years. They're not happy with their job, their career path, but don't, they don't try any different roads. I think the more roads we try in life, the higher the chances are of finding a road that we like. Something that makes us happy. I think this is the right road. Otherwise, I have to go back to that intersection and try another one of the four roads that were there. It was the right road, my friends. Sometimes we're lucky. Some people find their passion early in life when they are five years old. I think Tiger Woods started playing golf when he was maybe four or five years old. And he ended up doing that for the rest of his life. But uh, we have to keep searching for our passion in life. But It's been several hours, but uh, it's time to head back. Finally, now we have only downhill all the way down back. So that's going to be really nice. Hello, I am back finally from my probably 10 mile ride or maybe yeah, probably actually a lot more but it was really nice we're gonna return the bike and then that will be it for this video except for tonight when I'm gonna show you the streets I got five tacos and queso fundido I got queso fundido and some kind of uh, tacos queso fundido is the melted cheese they have a uh, uh, container full of cheese. I'm so exhausted after my uh, I don't even know how long the bike ride was but it was a good time so I'm walking here now on these narrow streets all the streets look the same kind of here we are now out on the streets I was gonna show you <laughs> what it looks like here at night time so let's check it out my friends There are a lot of people out actually. Um, I'm still tired from my bicycle trip. <laughs> but uh, I need to get something to eat. <laughs> it's the first time I've been to a place where every single restaurant is full almost. Like there's no place to sit. Maybe because people live up in the mountains there and then they come down to eat <laughs> dinner. I got some chicken fajita for around 100 pesos, which was about 5 US dollars. All right, everybody, I finished my food, so this will be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Please leave this video a thumbs up, post a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm actually staying in a really bad place today, <laughs> so we're not gonna show that. But in the next video, I'm going to um, Manzanillo up along the coast so don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next adventure please also when you subscribe to my youtube channel click the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload something